Hello and welcome along to After Effects Basics with your host Robert Smith. In this video we're going to look at generating some backgrounds using some of the fantastic um, effects we've that ship with After Effects. So let's get stuck in. First thing I'm going to do is make a new composition like this. Apple N, 1280 or Control N, 1280 to 720, 25 frames per second and 7 seconds long like that. And away I go. Okay, now to apply or to generate these effects, we need to have a solid. So Apple Y, when I Apple Y to make myself a solid, 1280 by 720. Make comp size. Now the color, I want to make it a, a bluish color, so I'll click on there. Like that is good, and OK. Now over in my effects and presets, the one I'm looking for is something called cell patterns. Let's have a look at that. So I'll just type in cell P, and it'll find cell pattern for me. I'll just click and drag it straight onto the um, stage like this and as you can see we get all these soft little pillowy effects. Okay so what's cell pattern all about? Obviously up, up here it's given us some properties to play with but we've really got no idea have we? So let's click on our brainstorm. Here it is here, our brainstorm icon. And let's see what our brainstorm can come up with. Okay if I up my randomness to 100% like that and start to click as you can see, there's lots and lots of variations. I'm just looking for something like this one over here. I like the, this really big soft pillow look. So I'm going to click on this far right icon, including next brainstorm. And I'm going to drop my randomness back to about 25%. So they're not too different, if you like. Like that. And I'll click on brainstorm. And now I get lots of soft pillowy looks. Okay, I quite like this one over here. So I'm just going to click on the the tick like that and there's my fantastic uh, background so let's get to animating that now this is much the same as fractal noise uh, which we looked at in the last video it's got something called evolution so make sure I'm back at the start of my timeline like that I'm going to click on evolution like that and I'm going to go to the end of my timeline press home on oh, sorry press N if you've got the big keyboard and over here in evolution I'm going to type in two evolutions so it's going to go do its thing like this. And as you can see, wow, what weirdness. Get this fantastic little animation like that. Okay, so what are the options here? Now again, it's like fractal noise. Who knows what all this means over here? So let's have a look at cell pattern, what we've got. We've got crystals. We can make it look like that. We've got pillow. We've got bubbles, which is what we had originally. We've got tubular. Wow, that's pretty weird looking. Wow, look at that. Okay, so I might take it back to bubbles like this. What else can we Let's play with the contrast. If I up the contrast, uh, as you can see, I get more space between the bubbles like that. Now we'll disperse. Let's see what that does. As you can see, we actually make it square, which is not going to look very good. So we'll do that. And the size, we can make it really, really small. Or we can make it big and we can animate all these things over time. So let's animate some of this size. I'm going to go back to the start like this. We've already put some evolution on. So if I put a keyframe for size, I'm going to go to the end like this. And so it's going to get bigger over time. I realize I'm very weird indeed. <laughs> very After Effects. Okay, what about the contrast? What about if I to animate the contrast. So I'll put a keyframe at the start like that. And I might go back somewhere in the middle this time rather than all the way to the end and up the contrast. And now they seem to have separated and are floating around in air. Very nice indeed. If I want to bring that back, I'll just grab my um, current time indicator and I'll go in there and get with my contrast again. Just down the contrast so they'll come apart then go back together again just dragging these numbers to the left over here like that not too far let's have a look at that okay just get a RAM preview wow how weird is that okay now if you want to add some color to that we have trouble actually um, blending it with the original solid so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another solid actually like this what I might do is just simply duplicate that solid or that layer, Apple D to duplicate it, like this. Go to my comp, like that. 
click on that layer and you'll notice as I duplicated it also duplicated the fact that it had the cell pattern effect applied to it so I'm just going to click on that cell pattern and delete it that's how you do it click over here delete and I'll use my multiply effect here to change those balls to blue like this so now I've got this very weird and creative circular background happening okay that's enough for one video by the way if you didn't get this multiply option here like that uh, you can always go down and toggle your switches down here on this little icon down there okay thanks for watching we'll do some more generating in the next video